Hello, this is the Player 2 Video Games Club. I'm your host, Paul James, and today I'm joined by Demo Camilleri and Jay Parnas. How are you, boys? <laughs> you oh, not too bad, mate. So, we're here this month, right in the middle of E3. Demo's kindly jumped in and uh, lent us an hour or so of his time to get this one done. Um, <laughs> we're talking about Age of Empires 2 for the Games Club this month. Now, myself, someone who constantly ridicules and picks on PC gamers, has picked a PC game. Um, so, uh, Hypocrisy never felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> I choose to pick on them when it suits. It's the same as mobile games. All yeah. of them suck until it's a all of them. Game. All of the time, except when I'm playing them. Um, so, so, yeah, we're here to talk about uh, Age of Empires 2 and RTS, which, again, personally, was another genre that I didn't really spend all that much time <laughs> with uh, ever. Um, so my first thing is, I mean, we, you know, we all have different sort of backgrounds when it comes to different sorts of games we play. RTS is, a, for me, one that I've played less of than others, but Age of Empires is one. What sort of RTS backgrounds do each of you guys have before we kind of... I think I've got Age of Empires 1 in a neutral grain box once, played it a couple of times, and yeah. never again. Damn so, so I, I saw you play... No, I know, I know you've spent m more than the rest of us. I saw you play before. Halo Wars for like 10 minutes once. That counts, right? Yeah. That's my RTS experience. So we started on Warcraft 2 because no one had a copy of Warcraft 1. Then I went back to Warcraft 1 and then I got Warcraft 2. Then played Starcraft and Brood Wars. Then went back to Warcraft 2, back to Star Wars, uh, Starcraft and Brood Wars. And then I played Warcraft 3. And then I went back to Starcraft. Then back to Warcraft 3. Then back to Warcraft 2. And then back to Warcraft 3. So fairly new to the genre, you see. Then Starcraft 2 finally emerged, and I finally got a PC good enough to play it. So I jumped on that, and I played through all of that. Then I, you know... But you'd say for the Oh, and there was, there was Age of Empires and shit in there, too. Total Annihilation, you know. something along the way. And then you got to the final destination of RTS and played a MOBA, right? Nope. <laughs> Never. Stirring. He's still with us. Still with us. <laughs> um, so I guess I mean Damo, you've obviously yeah had more experience than the rest of us. But first and foremost, and we I mean we experienced this game at different times. Jay, you most recently, <laughs> and then you could say that. And then Damo and I just I don't know ten years. Would you say? Would you longer than ten? Know? Man, no, ten years. Te ten years. Oh, teen. I was gonna say fuck. Man. Sorry, teen. Ten years ago, I was leaving school. Oh, oh, kill me. Oh, yeah, no. Um, She's dating these people. <laughs> this is the episode thing that we normally do. Which is worse than dating <laughs> the episodes, I assure you. Yeah, no. Yeah, um, in my teens. Early teens? Late teens? I mean, yeah, all through my teens. Early. But Age of Empires was... Still... Be early? So number two came out in 1999. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, after, really that's I didn't have the that's money. Before teens, so that be... was before people could burn CDs freely. Well, again, I got the first one in a box of Nutrigain, so... Yeah, it, have a good day. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where I got Dude, the first, and then... Yeah, that's I where I got Tony Hawk, too. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think I got given a burnt copy of two. That was my first experience. Yeah. Um, oh, Red Alert. Add that to the collection. Play oh, yeah. that a lot of that Yeah. Think I'll yeah. make another one of those? Okay. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> so did, before we kind of get into the, the nitty gritties of it. Yeah. Um, did we enjoy our respective times with Age of Empires 2? And I know it's, <coughs> it's, er, it's weird that we... I'm going so early with the question, but we'll kind of break it down <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit later on. RTS is before Jay responds, because it's, uh, it's clear where he's going. And him and I have already had conversations RTSs don't really gel with Jay, as you might have gathered based on his uh, lack of experience. You sure, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Castlevania, I mean Metroidvania, Metroidvania. kind of, you know, mechanics in Age of Empires 2. <laughs> there's lots all, of exploration. And and <laughs> you mean at some point you can make a castle, kind of? That's about it. Ooh, oh, here we go. Um, that's uh, that's racially insensitive, and I'll thank you to stop. <laughs> Go back and check out the Bioshock Games Club where Damo introduces an episode that way. <laughs> yes. Um, so, I mean, Damo, you've obviously played a fair bit of it over the journey. You're, you're yeah. a fan. Um, Go even have an Age of Mythology currently playing through that, finally. Yeah, you've, you've dabbled in mythology a little bit since as well. Have you gone down the whole of the Civs games at all? The what? Like the Sims? Civ. 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 Civilization. Civilization. One, two, no. Six. No interest in playing something real. <laughs> 
All right. I can't type Big Daddy in and get a car that drives around. Well, you can't do that. I had that problem. Blow shit up. I had the problem today, yeah, as today. it turns out. I'm like, Big Daddy. Wait, Big Space Daddy. <laughs> what the fuck is this game for? <laughs> and what, what was the code in the end? How do you turn this on or something? On. <laughs> something like that? You get a Shelby Cobra or something yeah. like that? It's <laughs> real weird. And you still wreck shop with <laughs> Oh, that was how I won the match. I was just like... Hey, how do you turn this on? Enter, enter. How do you turn this on? Enter, enter. How do you turn this on? Enter. I got about six of them. And then just storm the base. Control C, Control V. Yeah. So, now this is probably a question best directed at Damo, given your experience with the John and Dummy. I won't be just ignoring you. No, you anything. may as well. Um, what do you, like, do you attribute, you've spent a lot of time with RTS since. Is there anything in particular that Age of Empires 2 did, and you... You know, you played it fairly on early on in its life cycle, so you might be able to pinpoint this a little bit better than the rest of us. Um, is there something that Age of Empires 2 did that you can kind of pinpoint as something that influenced wants to come in RTSs since, or did it not really kind of have that resonance within... Was it a milestone in the RTS genre, I think is what you're trying to yeah, say. Yeah, more or less. Um, Was there anything that made it noteworthy in the time? I don't time know. Time? Like, I don't have that broad of experience with... Mostly knowing, uh, sorry, mostly um, yeah, Blizzard. It was all RTSs. kind of more Blizzard. But I mean, if well, if which came out anything? First? Like, do you if see? Do you anything, see any? No, because Blizzard Duck did their own. They kind of just super went their own thing. way. Okay, uh, so you don't see any Red like Red Alert did their own kind of thing. I mean, it's Tech Tree. The Tech Tree is pretty cool in okay. the Age games. No, I don't know. I like, guess, do you see any fingerprints like, of... moving through the different ages and that sort of thing? No, I think it's because it's... It's not really produced by... I mean, Blizzard is its own living organism. Yes, really. still and is. He's They kind of, you know... Activision yeah. tries to kill it, but they can't. If next, you know... <laughs> they if, just keep coming back. Yeah, Blizzard it. came out... And then they and start taking Destiny on PC. Yeah. They just keep printing money. And if Blizzard like came out and went, yo, we're doing Warcraft 4 and it's just going to retail the first lot of WoW, like anybody that's playing Starcraft 2 or anything right now, just be like, yeah, here's my money, whatever, I don't give a shit. Do you think, I'll play that. obviously you don't have the lore that's involved when it comes to a uh, Blizzard game. Do you think if, I mean, we've, we've had an Age of Empires 3 since, we've had I mean, technology like you spoke about. You kind yeah, of have the like lore, it's human history. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, no, it, it no, is. No, it's no, just, no, no, it's just not a fantasy-based. Um, do you feel as though if, if we had that Age of Empires four, do we feel like that's something that people would come flocking back to in the same way? Um, because it's weird. Like Age of I Empires three is a thing, think and yet people gravitate to two. Two had this HD of... edition. It's been modded. We're going to talk about the mods in the game a little bit later on, and the stuff that's been added. And the depends if you went, yo, this is Age of Empires two, just on a. Like HD Different remake or something. Plane of field and like you know, we're gonna add like a fantasy pack to it or something like that, and you know, give Lots it some boy, weird boy. kind of boy, boy. things. Or even uh, if they went the route of Warhammer games in the Dark Crusade, where it was like you chose a race and then your race had to invade other places, and that changed the storyline and things like that. So you could be England, and when England went over, you know, and give you something like that. Like I think people might gravitate to it only because it is kept alive right now. In I mean, it's still pretty the, big. The studio who did it are dead, which which is a real shame. Yeah, I right. Think. The I mean, someone probably Microsoft owes the rights. Microsoft them years ago, if I recall, um, which was really unfortunate. Yeah, well. But, um, yeah, Age of Empires 2... Check out our review of the Xbox potential in the oh, it's earlier yeah. video. Um, <laughs> I think you'll find that Age of Empires gets a very... Not at all mentioned. <laughs> we, um, we don't even... No, so I'm, I'm fairly sure years and years ago, Microsoft actually killed off ensemble which was a bit of a shame but then what happened with Age of Empires 2 specifically Sorry, I can just imagine Bill Gates going in with like a samurai sword and brass knuckles and just <laughs> killing everybody in there and it's like it's done only if he's wearing a skin tight Kill Bill outfit <laughs> um, oh, thanks Pip um, all cords are intact uh, so no we're all good um, Damn it, she, she killed that train of thought. 
Uh, we'll, we'll move on anyway. That's that's probably yeah. So Microsoft, I can't Microsoft see killed them off. I can't Microsoft see them off. doing Age of Empires leaving any kind of footprint on well, anything. Well, uh, yeah. So other that, sorry, than Age of Empires. Wh- why is it? What is it about Age of Empires two specifically that has all? I mean, you've only you know played two. You've not played three. I mean, I have played, played one. one. Um, what is it about Age of Empires two that seems to have left the legacy? Given that we've had three, we've had mythology. Um, uh, was why, it just, why is it the two is the one like there's there's mod support like official mod support now that at well, least last year like they, they, they were adding campaigns last year for this was game. it just the pinnacle of where the game was like did they just not improve on enough on three and people were just like nah fuck you I'll stick with last year's game like well, what about mythology because obviously now obviously we don't have like mythology is different in terms of setting and what they're going for in terms of like, yeah got gods and all that sort of that sort of business but um yeah but for that you got black and white yeah um like, but like in that regard like how did it go okay like what what did they add differently did it not really just work when you compare it to what they did in age of empires 2 oh did you i mean you seem to enjoy it you're still you're still playing well, yeah because i had nothing else to play at the time and i was like Sure. Oh God, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the kind of person that's going to half play a, a story and, well, now that's exactly what's happened because yeah, sometimes you just don't have time for, an, you know, an RTS. You just... That's pretty much my opinion of it. Kind I, of, sometimes you're just like, you can be engaged in a battle. I mean, I could be engaged. I love StarCraft. I'll play that for fucking hours on end. But Age of Empires, the... It's always that same very slow start of the, the gathering up things Oof. and then... Yeah, you cheated your way through that, so... so. <laughs> Listen, mate. <Oof>. Look, <laughs> I have ADD. The startup of an RTS game and the... Like, like, for me, I'm the kind of person that will... I will get bored really quickly of it because I just can't, I just can't anymore. And so I'll just grab whoever's on my screen and just like, attack! Meanwhile, half my army forces off chopping fucking wood, like one screen over and it will just like i'll get killed and i'll have not be having fun and i'm just like fuck this game alt f4 like because I, <laughs> I just it's just not for me like i just can't i just can't keep my focus on so many different units plus the tech tree plus you know the time frames because obviously you know as rts gets more competitive you have to be you have to have shit done by a certain time frame otherwise you're fucked you know all that sort of stuff and i know like i know the very bare bones of it you would know more of it than i do Nemo, but like, I understand that that's how it needs to be. Obviously, when I was younger, I was just like, I can't, I can't this game. Let me play Tony Hawk instead. I just can't, right? Well, Whereas honest, now... Most people said let's, about anything they might have been playing, let's play Tony Hawk instead. Well, yeah, Tony but Hawk I mean... It's awesome. Yes, it is. It still <laughs> is, well, except for five. But fuck that you know, abomination. But yeah, anyway, that, that aside, I just... Yeah, for me now, being able to sort of understand sort of where that all comes from, it yeah, it's, it just I can't. So that's that's where I stand. That's yeah, all. I was just curious. That's all I really have to say. Especially like, you, as someone who's more yeah. more versed in RTSs than us. I think you had your did. mythical units and your pray praying power stuff. Like I can't remember what it's called now. It's been yeah, a bit rusty. And look, as much as I shit on things like Dota and stuff like that, I I do feel like there's definitely a distillation of the rts formula in terms of because there is still that sort of that leveling up and that grind to it as well but it it, it is focused on that just one sort of mythical unit i suppose if that makes sense i mean obviously there's that team dynamic but if you're just thinking of just like the play that you're doing does that make sense yes no i don't know maybe (laughs) <laughs> but you, you've, you've seen it be played though right like yeah. league and all that sort of stuff like for me that's there's definitely a distillation of what of like that that rts build up and i i can i can appreciate that it's just i mean for me that that build up is just not appealing either so fair enough but yeah i can, I can see you know why it is definitely entertaining for some people because it is building an investment effectively yeah it's, it's and then slow build and it's the minute to minute or moment to moment really decisions that you make that I mean you know that just the mission that you played um, this afternoon now admittedly you use some, you use some cheats along the way but we're, some we're, all of them we'll talk about <laughs> pretty some much we'll all talk of about them. some of the cheats shortly but um, uh, one of the things you noticed when you took out took your cars and drove over to, <laughs> to, to over to the enemy base um, the big difference was your approach where you'd kind of loaded up on personnel where, well, yeah. When you got over to their the, the opposition's 
fortress or base or whatever we want to call it. Once I mowed down that um, bowman, that was the. They had there was just buildings everywhere. Like they they'd clearly taken this approach. We're going to build this place up. <coughs> you know, had the walls. Well, they hadn't quite gotten to the point where they were building up walls and that sort of thing. That's how quickly brought the cars out. But um. Uh, Look, it was like a, it was like a half an hour game. <laughs> don't, don't don't take the piss too much. Like, um, I, I spent some time. But <laughs> but uh, like it was, it, you know, that moment to moment, those those decisions you make show in in a simple case like that where you would taken a very different approach to building it up, yeah, getting his, and you know how you spent your resources to what the computer did in that case. Yeah, and I mean, imagine that, and then spread that across countless hundreds, thousands millions back in the day people playing Age of Empires 2 especially with you know, an, you know, an online scene without um, cheats without cheats <laughs> yeah, I assume that we'll see if someone just quickly well, sneaks in a thousand gold or, or yeah. two thousand gold or whatever it is um, they're my favourite players <laughs> when you when you start romping them and they, you just see all like in the chat messages all the cheats coming in you're <laughs> like oh fresh meat how fun this is <laughs> now and <laughs> prepare to die um, how do you turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, 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 how do you I like this Chevy Cobra? Gritty, gritty, yeah, that moment to moment sort of this can change the momentum of a game. Maybe, but maybe you don't see the reward for that for quite a while. Yeah, and that's um, that's tough for me. That's very tough. But I, you're right. I I'm get not, it. I'm not the most patient person in the world, so that that. So you could. I've not played that you could literally games. see my like patience fraying today. Which I was just sitting there playing Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yeah, I know. But, but that's but yeah. that's like okay. if if you were watching me like moment to moment, you would be able to see me being like, all right, I'm gonna create some houses. All right, let's create some men. Oh, I don't have enough houses. All right, I guess I'll make Boy some houses. houses. All right, now I've got a town mart. How do I how do I make a church? I um, can't do that yet. All Barracks. right. How do I make a barracks? Why don't I have a barracks here? I don't understand. Oh, I need to move up to the Imperial Age. All right, moving on. Sure, okay, let's make some walls. Okay, a scout came to get me. Oh, they've built a mine near my thing. Cars. <laughs> I just no, I just sent one car over and that kind of got fucked up and so I pulled it back and repaired it. All right, it. let's talk cheat codes. What are some of our favorites? And let's, let's, not, let's not contain Big Daddy, it. Big not Daddy. Contain Daddy. It. Let's not contain it to Age of Empires 2. What are some of our favorite codes? Oh, just uh, anything that brings out a badass car that's gonna mow through the Big open. Bertha. Big, oh, you can Big just Bertha. shoot across the map. Just the area of attack, and it'll just land and just blow up an entire forest. Was that on what was one. that? Age of Empires one. See, I told you there was like a nuke of some sort, and you're like, no. I'm like Yeah, you just area attack and it would like wipe out entire forest like you could just like, alright, I have enough wood and I've got it all guarded. I'm gonna stop them from doing shit. Fuck them. Yeah. See that? And then you bring out the cars and all that sort of stuff to go along yeah. the Yeah. I, look. Big um, Daddy. Yeah, Big Daddy's great. All the, all the money stuff. Like, just the, the fact that I remember Big Daddy and now. And start stabbing people. And taking Flying Dutchman. Yeah. The boats that go across land. <laughs> it was fun. It's gone. Was that from <laughs> one as well? Yeah, one. Did, did one just have straight up better cheat codes or? I don't know. I never used the cheats for number two. That's oh, when okay. I actually tried to play games. Well, the, 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 <laughs> fair, the, the things, fair enough. The things you get with two I'm were, less honourable. Um, you know, imme immediate build. Like, you know, they just immediately build the mm, whatever that it is was, you work. That was really time. great. That one um, was really useful. <laughs> you know build what? Build a wonder. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Game over. But you know what? Like, I still literally high drag clicked on everyone to build one house, even though I'd already put on the insta build thing. Like, that's, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's, and yes, I understand your frustration, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's my dumb. experience of fucking RT. I just can't, man. I can't. Just, like, I can't. Hot keys, hot keys. Yeah, see, that's, that, that's just something I, I'll never be able to do. That's a whole part of the game. It's yeah, just it's just. I tried to mac. Oh no, we're going to go into macros. No, no, go on. Can't oh, do it. Cause this is ride to game. macro in StarCraft so I could get like judder, judder shots where you, like, you have your marines like retreat and then they shoot. So it's so like I tried to program it so that like I'd press a button and my mount and my keyboard would like attack stop, attack stop, attack stop as I just was able to click and just do that. 
didn't work out as well as I fucking planned it would. Just kind of went, and they fucking sweat. Didn't know what to do. It's like, damn it. It's all about timing. So, what would a fourth, a hypothetical fourth game, or just a return to the franchise anyway? Because even mythology, it's now been probably 10 years, give or take, since mythology first came out. What, what would a hypothetical fourth game in the Age of Empire series need to do to kind of bring people back? Because we've got things like you referenced Civ before. Civ is a It really would need to beat out Civ and Starcraft and anything else Blizzard decides to do and Dawn of War. Well, what, is it, what is it that makes those Total games so War big and, these days? Um, and I mean, I guess the properties that they're behind. I mean, if you think of Dawn of War, it's because people love fucking Warhammer. If you think of Starcraft, it's because... People want to fuck Jim Rayner in the ass. Like, you, you, like it is what it is. Yeah, it was kid. also because it's all, it was it's, so much easier to do things. Well, yeah, did that's not it. optimize any controls. In Age of Empires, yeah, yours rough. All, it's I mean, it's fucking it's, it's almost. An, it's I, can, I can, I can, I can. I know with it's that. old, but Starcraft fucking had it down packed straight away. It's it, true. It was like A for attack, done, go. Like you fucking click off anything, so you, and it's like. Do you, do you think a large portion of them, like again, this hypothetical fourth game, is just if they just fix up accessibility? If they, if they just turn around, around, they went. Okay, we're just going to model everything off StarCraft's control system and then use Warhammer's story, Dark Crusade story mode and then just give everybody Age of Empires 2 again. Done. You've got yourself your game that people will buy. Because people will be like, sweet, I can Twitch stream this. I can stream this on Twitch and people will enjoy it. Because Do you think that would be more popular than what's already available? Well, yeah. I mean... Okay. If you, just, if you just sat I'm just there and you just went, what it is that's going to pull. So am I. Um, like, I there's, there's still plenty of people, like, and it shows with this. I mean, the last three years we've seen campaigns and expansions and other races and all those sorts of things added to this HD edition of, um, of Age of Empires 2. So I'm trying to work out what that group loves just, about it in its current state. You just and what they, offer. What they you need, offer it for what they need 20 to do bucks a to pop. Bring someone Steam, across. that's it. Chuck on Steam, nowhere else. Because I mean, like, like, why have they not gone to Age of Empires 3? Or. Because it. Or mythology. Why 2 they, why is like just back? that peak time in gaming as well. You gotta think, what else came out around then? Hmm. So, yeah, that's that's. But sort of a what lot of people before. that came into Age, like, Warcraft 1 was probably too hard. Warcraft 2 probably wasn't allowed in their household because of the sheer amount of blood. So then they went, oh, Age of Empires 1 was so good, and then Age of Empires 2. And, then and it's it, historical, maybe it'll teach my kids about history. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. Age of Empires 3 comes out, and people are just kind of like, uh, like I'm, I'm done with this. There's more games out now. Like, PC gamers didn't have a huge range all the time. Like, older In players, genre, yeah. sure. Younger players were only getting what their parents brought them. Yeah, yeah I suppose. Yeah, but, I mean, I played it because I was, yeah, I was getting a burnt copy. I don't think Mum would have. I mean, yeah. but that's because we weren't a PC gaming household anyway. But With what you're saying about a new age of empires, though, I mean, if you look at something like a uh, Halo Wars, I mean, that's got a pretty refined control system, and it's also got the the you Halo PC or you just, just in general, just just an, just an RTS console. in general, and it, it's also got like the Halo mythology around it as well. Yeah, but I mean, you, you don't really hear much about that. You're making many waves against, you know, the established frameworks. I'm just like, well, Age of Empires, I mean, what story does it have to tell other than, hey, this is kind of history that happened? Like, I, I think f the established ones are established because they've they've also got that story framework, I guess. Yeah. Or they've got characters that people know, if that makes sense. Yeah. And I don't know if something like an Age oh, of Empires... imagine Alexander the Great invading Britain. I guess, but I mean... That might be two history like books for some King people. Arthur going around and slaughtering Attila the Hun. Like, <laughs> I, you know, I guess. crazy shit like that. You Donald just Trump going around and building walls around America. <laughs> <laughs> you Fuck, it's happening. Yeah, well, that that sounds like more like a funny Minecraft level <laughs> than an Age of Empires game. But, Not that there's um, anything about Minecraft. I mean, if someone made a Donald Trump building a wall around a Call fake Trump Mexico, that, yeah, that'd be pretty funny. I'd laugh. Um, and because then you... It probably happened. Yeah. You then have to have like the, the Trump avatar throwing little explosive boxes over the wall because that's going to happen. <laughs> um, 
Look, I, I don't know. It's just... You've got a whole bunch I, of taunts. I feel like where it is now, I think a lot of... Like, it, it needs more than just mechanics. Is that fair? Gamers unfair? are demanding more and more, not just genres. Just from all just, genres. Yeah. I mean, look at even first-person shooters these days. I mean... Look at... And again, like, check some of the our E3 content out from over the course of this month. But, um, like, look at the EA conference and what they're doing with FIFA and... And NBA yeah, exactly, and, and, exactly. Um, Perfect example. Madden and obviously, uh, NBA 2K already does it, but and even like WWE they're as building, well. Oh, just WWE. Oh, yeah, they don't care. But like they're adding story modes to things that <laughs> we never thought we needed stories. And a lot of people would still agree that they yeah, don't need a story. They just jump but, in and. But it's yeah, it's <laughs> that this market. It's like another story that frames what I'm doing here. Sure. Like I don't just want to play a game. I want to. Yeah. Engage with it. At the yeah, same time. I'd, yeah. I'd, I want someone to tell me a fictional story. I don't necessarily want it to be super real world. Yeah. And that's that's kind of where I'm coming from. Like, I'm I'm curious because I am interested to think of like how something like an Age of Empires, well, like how and where it would fit in sort of a today's gaming environment. And I feel like with everyone's super like intense focus on brands and like the stories behind those brands and the loyalty behind those brands, I feel like it's a really hard market to penetrate. Does that make sense? Like even even something like a like a Supreme Commander or or what's the what's the one where you can like blow up other people's planets? Eve? Um, Eternal is it no it oh fuck, what is it? Um something commander I think. It's where well, you start off with like a robot unit and you build up like a huge robot army and you can eventually like Angry commander. You can like, f you can actually fly your planet into ah. theirs or something like that. It's, Bomb. it's fucking crazy. I, I can't think of it. We can we can look up afterwards. Command but Palpatine. It's it. All your base are belong to us. <laughs> anyway, my my point is like those that like got kickstarted and like it was because a lot of people were super fans of like the old stuff that kind of never like kept, was able, able to keep going. Them. Yeah. Um, and like they, they, you know, they made some money and stuff like that, but it's still kind of, it doesn't seem like it's making waves against, you know, like your Starcrafts or your Total Wars or your Dawn of Wars or whatever. So, so that's I, why Age of Empires 4 doesn't exist. Yeah, prob you're, probably, you're probably right. You're probably right. That's why Bill Gates murdered all those people. <laughs> <laughs> With his bare hands and Make me a good game. We can't. Uh, uh, it's all right. over. Um, Bill Gates. Omae wo mo shinderu. Shadow man. Deadly man. Um... Look, that's about all, you know, I just really wanted a kind of very open sort of conversation about this this franchise specifically and what it means for the genre because I, I don't know that as a group we'll play that many RTSs. I mean, there's not that many huge ones out there. I hope that Damo does bring some that mean a little, like have a little bit of cachet with, uh, with you there. But, you know, there's not that, there's not that huge suite of RTSs out there that there are, say, RPGs or first-person shooters. Or even as many as there were, or, say, 15 years ago. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I, I, I wanted to look at this more through more of a bigger picture, not necessarily Age of Empires exclusive sort of lens. Okay. Um, and, I, and I'm glad, I think we've kind of done that anyway. For sure. What we've said and what they, what, you know, what the genre is and probably what it needs to be to continue to... Exist. ...warrant and exist and it, warrant, like warrant its place in the, in the business. And it does deserve to exist. Like, it's, it's, it's not, it's not it's that... It's fully English too. That's your biggest problem. Like, oh, okay. I see what you can. I see. You're, you're not going to go over to Korea and be like, "Hey, we've got an Age of Empires. Like, play that and try and become world champions." They'll be like, "Hey, yeah, no, we got StarCraft. Whatever, fuck off." And we're better than you at all. Yeah, yeah, at every other game that we play. Also, Street Fighter. Yeah, we can do that too. Dota. Yeah, we can do that. It's fine. Yeah, but yeah. on Windjammers though, you can't beat them with that. Oh, fucking Windjammers. Can we, can we play Windjammers? <laughs> Game of the month next month. We need to work that out. Damo, it's actually your, your pick for next month. It is your turn. Oh, it is but my pick. We'll we'll keep that one hidden. We'll, Damo, yeah, Damo, keep it hidden this tease, time. Tease something. Tease something. Green Just and don't go yellow. <laughs> can you give that one away? Can we, can we please not play an RTS? <laughs> We're totally gonna play. It's Dark the Dark. RTS Triforce. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Because we did not, the horror, he's, he's did the three it horror he's, games. He's not bringing an RTS. Like that's right. We'll just do that. double. <laughs> if I was gonna bring one, it'd be Brutal Legend. Just so you know. Let's see. There you go. Oh yeah, I played Brutal Legend. There they go. We'll, we'll get back to that. That's point. technically Maybe. an RTS, right? Um, 
<laughs> but we'll, we'll keep that one high key. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to please visit player2.net.au for all the awesome written content. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. There's heaps of E3 related stuff that's gone up over the last couple of weeks. We've had a lot to talk about. <sighs> busy, busy time of the year. Um, uh, visit us on Twitter, Paul James P2, Tacos Talks. Yeah, I couldn't get Macadamia. I'll pay for it if I have to. Uh, Player Two AU, I did see it. You're looking to change. You've changed your title on there, but yeah, Taco Talks is still the Twitter handle. Um, Pouty Jay doesn't do the Twitters. Um, won't do the Twitters. Can't tweets. It doesn't even tweet, bro. Um, no. But that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Till next week, where we're back with another episode of Patch. We'll see you later.